I never wanted this machine to be a perpetual content machine. I'd like to diversify things on the channel and change things up. But when information comes about, I want to share it with you guys. And second of all, sorry for the clickbait title. It really should be misadjusted since new, but I don't think anyone's gonna click that. So what am I talking about? Many of you guys have watched in the past uh, this video. And in that video, my transmission blew up. A bolt had come out of the ring gear, smashed the bottom out of the transmission, uh, rendering my wonderful two and a half year old machine a paperweight. It was fixed under warranty. I did get an entirely new uh, transmission out of the deal, but a bolt just falling out never really sat right with me. And it felt like it didn't sit right with a lot of the viewers here also, because I had any number of comments saying, you know, I have X machine, I hope this doesn't happen to me. Or you might be a potential buyer and they said, oh, I hope this doesn't happen to me. And I'll be honest with you, even though it did happen to me, I do have the same exact machine with the same exact transmission uh, that blew up one other time. I'm right there with you. I hope it doesn't happen to me again. So what brings me all the way out here to the street? God, my neighbors could see me. A curious thing happened the other day. I've said it before, I don't use this machine every day. Uh, so there was an opportunity to use it. We had a tree fall down and I noticed something curious. So now I'm gonna ask you to put on your memory caps. Is that a thing? I don't know. If you ever watched the video that I had posted two days after this machine was delivered, it never turned right. I'll go ahead and post the clip now. Uh, I noticed that on blacktop, taking the garbage can down, you can't turn the wheels to lock on this just yet. When you go to turn, as if I was turning out of my driveway to put the garbage cans down, it just keeps going straight. I don't know if that's front weight or back weight, don't know, four wheel drive, differential lock, didn't make a difference. So you can't turn the wheel to lock and make a turn. You have to go before lock and then it'll turn and then you're doing like a 22 point turn to make a U-turn. So hopefully some of the ballast issues will uh, hopefully the ballast will take care of some of those issues. So as you hear me say, I could never turn this machine hard to lock either way. It would skid around. Uh, there were comments on that video. It needs more front weight because the backhoe is on there. And admittedly, as a first time buyer of this machine, and that was my first use of it, I had no idea that anything was wrong. I just assumed that it was a big machine that operated and maneuvered differently from the 748. And I just knew that for the life of this tractor, I could never turn the wheels to lock. I would just continue to go forward. That was until this machine came back I used it up here, which brings me to the edge, edge of the driveway. This is the exact location that I was talking about. I couldn't do that move that you just saw. So much to my surprise, the other day when I was able to bang it all the way around and do a full 360 degree turn without there being an issue, without scuffing the tires, I realized that a bolt just falling out of the ring gear was probably the symptom of an overarching disease. My differential lock was on from the second that this machine was delivered to the second that it blew up. Do I feel dumb? A little bit. However, I didn't know that that was skidding around was wrong. I just thought that that was how the machine operated. At no point ever in owning this was the differential lock not on. Now, having the actual ability to turn it on and off, I realized how much damage I was doing to the rear end and didn't even know it. So I think the point of this is for all the people who might have watched the other video and said, oh man, I hope this doesn't happen to me. Instead of thinking that you have a time bomb sitting in the bottom of your tractor, do everything that you can to make sure 
that your differential lock isn't stuck on. There are, there are quite a few videos about adjusting the linkage because apparently this differential linkage is something that has been misadjusted for other owners before. There are other videos, you can search them up and they'll show you how to adjust it properly. And I think that that would be the reason why the transmission finally gave up the ghost because I drove on pavement for almost three years not even realizing that there was something wrong with the machine. Now I've gotten it stuck before and I've used the diff lock thinking it was doing something, but in reality, with the old transmission, I probably wasn't even doing anything. It was just always in uh, the differential lock. What's kind of head slapping for me is that I had an inclination. I posted on Green Tractor Talk a couple years ago about adjusting, it was either Green Tractor Talk or Facebook. I don't remember. But I had posted, I, I had a feeling that this wasn't adjusted properly. This linkage wasn't adjusted properly. So I kind of knew that there was something wrong. Even after I thought I adjusted it, it still was never right. It still behaved the same way. So maybe it was stuck on. I, I actually, I don't know. So the point of this video really is to give anyone who has a, uh, a 2025 or a 1025 or something with a differential lock that watched my previous video that's hoping that it doesn't happen, that their transmission doesn't blow up or it happens to them, uh, it gives them something to double check. Make sure that your differential lock is actually clicking on and off. It seems stupid. It seems stupid in hindsight to me, but I didn't know any better to prevent a condition that I didn't know existed. That's it. End of video. Goodbye.